Hello and Happy New Year, and thanks so much for joining us for Grace and Peace Church Online. I'm Matt, I'm the worship director, and not only are we celebrating the new year this Sunday, but we're also recognizing this week uh, the season known as Epiphany, the day known as Epiphany on the church calendar. We're wrapping up those 12 days of Christmas, and it caps off with uh, the season of Epiphany. And what that represents is um, sort of historically the idea that those magi who had seen the star in the east followed it and finally made their way to Jesus um, and Mary and Joseph. And when they encounter Jesus, they bow down, they revere him as king, they offer him uh, extravagant gifts, um, gifts that were both valuable uh, monetarily, but that also held symbolic purposes. And they essentially worship him. And what was so special about that moment was that these Magi were not uh, Israelites. They were not from the Hebrew uh, sort of tribe. They were not um, of the Israelite faith. These would have been considered uh, Gentiles. And yet they were so familiar with um, the stories and the prophecies and the promises of God from the what we now know as the Old Testament that they were perceptive of the way God was moving in ways that the people of Israel just weren't. And so it sort of represents God's kingdom stretching beyond a specific people, a specific tribe, a specific faith practice, and it sort of cracked it wide open to anyone all over the world who recognize Jesus as Lord and who respond appropriately with lives of worship. And so that's what we celebrate today. It's that God's kingdom is not exclusive. It is not selective. It is open and available to anyone and everyone who recognizes Jesus as Lord and who responds worshipfully with their whole lives. So we're going to read a short scripture right now as sort of a, a meditation, a way of preparing our minds and our hearts for the message and also just to kind of work in that theme of, of making us more in the likeness of Jesus. And then from there, we're going to respond with a time of singing. And again, this is just an opportunity to come before God uh, vulnerably, honestly, um, with with whatever is going on. It could be gratitude, it could be other feelings, it could be um, sorrow, it could be frustration. Um, we can bring all those things to God in, in this time. And then from there, we're going to move into the worship. So again, we're so grateful you're here, and we're going to start now with our scripture reading. chapter 1 verses 15 through 23 he is the image of the invisible God the firstborn over all creation for everything was created by him in heaven and on earth the visible and the invisible whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities all things have been created through him and for him he is before all things, and by him all things hold together. He is also the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, so that he might come to have first place in everything. For God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him, and through him to reconcile everything to himself, whether things on earth or things in heaven by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. Once you were alienated and hostile in your minds, as expressed in your actions, but now he has reconciled you by his physical body through his death to present you holy, faultless, and blameless before him. If indeed you remain grounded and steadfast in the faith and are not shifted away from the hope of the gospel that you heard, this gospel has been proclaimed in all creation under heaven.
Stop. 